Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering NIST definition of IAS, PAS, and SAS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete cloud computing subject tutorials. I will provide that link in the description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, NIST that is National Institute of Standards and Technology describes mainly three types of cloud services. They are Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. At first, I will explain NIST definition of infrastructure as a service. Shortly, we call it as IAS. IAS is for IT professionals who need to manage and run software. The providers take care of hardware like server, storage, network. Users handle the applications they run on the cloud. Example: AWS and Google Cloud. Guys, I will give one example. So that you can clearly understand this definition. Guys, for example, let us say I am owner of one software company. My company developed one software. In order to run my software, I need server. But purchasing and maintaining server is costly. So what I will do is I will contact to cloud service providers like Google Cloud or AWS, and then I will take one server for rent. And then I will place my application in that server so all users can access my application. In cloud, whenever we select IaaS, cloud service providers will provide us only hardware like servers, storage, and network. But they don't provide us any kind of softwares. Just they will provide only hardware. And this IaaS is mainly used by administration team in software companies. Next, I will explain NIS definition of PaaS, that is platform as a service. Guys, PaaS is mainly used by developers who write code in order to develop applications. PAS is for developers who want to build and deploy applications without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. The provider manages the platform, and the developers focus on their application. Guys, whenever we select IAS, we will get only hardware. But whenever you select PAS, we will get both hardware and as well as some softwares in order to develop and deploy our application. Software developers, after writing code, they will place that software in server. So placing our software in server is known as deployment. So whenever we select a PaaS, developers will provide us both hardware and as well as some softwares in order to build and deploy our application. So whenever we select a PaaS in cloud, cloud service providers will provide us both hardware and some softwares in order to build and deploy our application. That's for example, if you consider AWS cloud, in AWS cloud. Whenever we select a PaaS, AWS provides one of the famous service called AWS Elastic Beanstack. Developers, after writing code, whenever they place code in Elastic Beanstack, Beanstack will automatically place our code in server, and Beanstack will monitor our application and it will manage our server. And third one is software as a service. Shortly, we call it as SaaS. SaaS is for regular users who want to use applications over the internet. Provider manages everything, and users simply use the software. Example includes Google Apps and Microsoft Office Word 365. Guys, in cloud, people like us will select SaaS service. If you consider IaaS, IaaS will provide only hardware. If you consider PaaS, PaaS will provide hardware and some softwares related to software development. And whereas, if you consider SaaS, SaaS provides both hardware and various kinds of applications. Based on our requirement, for example, let us say I want to use MS Office in cloud. So simply, I will select SaaS service. I will select a server, and then I will select MS Office application, and then I will use. Guys, there are different types of cloud deployment models. And the first one is public cloud. Anyone can use public cloud by using internet. For example, if you consider AWS and Google Drive, anyone can use them by using internet. So both are examples of public cloud. And second one is private cloud. Everyone cannot use private cloud. In software companies, company will create cloud setup. Only employees in that company can use that cloud. Outside people cannot use that cloud. So private clouds are the clouds that are created by software companies for their use. And third one is community cloud. Services are shared by group of organizations with common interest. Thus, for example, if you consider state government, state government contains various kinds of departments, and all those departments will follow government rule. So all those departments has common goal. That is, the data must be secure, 
and all those data is sensitive data and last one is hybrid cloud hybrid cloud is combination of public cloud private cloud and community cloud based on requirement companies can store their data in either public cloud or private cloud or community cloud for example let us say i have useless data so simply i will store it in public cloud for example my company is handling big project the data is very sensitive data now i will store the data in private cloud guys in ias application that is nothing but softwares data development and testing tools middleware and operating system all these are installed and managed by it architects and whereas network storage compute virtualization and servers all these are provided by cloud service providers whereas in paas application and data that is nothing but we need to install softwares and as well as we need to manage our data so application and data are managed by developers and rest everything is managed by cloud service providers and whereas in saas everything is managed by cloud service providers including our softwares cloud providers will provide us softwares these are cloud deployment models they are public cloud private cloud community cloud and hybrid cloud all these clouds provide software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service in ias user handle the application while the providers manage the hardware in paas user handle their apps and providers manage the platform and infrastructure guys in paas providers will not provide us complete softwares they will provide only few softwares which are required for software development users simply use the softwares and the providers manage everything 